Howdy. Happy Saturday. I'm a mess. I know. I know. I just got done doing three miles. And you know, I started out, I thought, I'm just going to go walk. I went to Turkey Mountain. I'm just going to go walk. Because I don't really run anymore. And I started walking and lo and behold, I needed to jog. So I did. Started trotting. Started jogging. Ended up running over half of it. So I'm thankful for that. I hope my back doesn't hurt later. My shoulder has a massive improvement. <sighs> I think we're getting on the downhill slope. Okay, anyway, we're going to sit here and eat, talk. I have some thoughts I want to share with y'all. Um, I went to acai. Y'all know. We haven't been in a while. But there's the granola. The purple is the acai berry. Strawberries, bananas, blueberries. There's peanut butter, honey, and I think a little bit of cacao which is cocoa, chocolate. So, I'm starving. It's 10 till one and I haven't eaten anything today. I usually get a little something to eat before I do a workout and I didn't. Um, yum. So my chiropractor grounded me from hot works <laughs> while we're working on my shoulder. She didn't ground me from it. She said, I'm not going to tell you not to go. She said, but that that extreme heat in the sauna, she said, that's going to prolong your healing. So I haven't been to hot works in several days. But she's like, you can still, you know, walk and yoga and mow the yard and do what you want to do. It's just that extreme heat. So instead of going to hot work, I went to Turkey Mountain and I hadn't been in forever. And I'm going to soak up as much daylight and sunshine as I can before fall gets here and the time changes. So, as I was trotting along, um, I wanted to start blogging this morning. But I didn't. I didn't. And then I was like, oh, I'll vlog when I get to the mountain. Because we haven't been to the mountain in a long time. Well, I get there and I start walking and I put on my praise and worship music. Well, like three songs in, um, the thought to vlog popped into my head. And the Lord's like, no. You're spending time with me right now. I said, okay. Don't you love how he speaks to you like that? If you listen, you spend time with him. He, he talks to you. And he's like, no, you're with me right now. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm listening to my praise and worship. I'm running through the trees. And I start having thoughts, <laughs> right? Um, I'm looking at the sky, I'm looking at the trees, I'm listening to the birds, I'm listening to praise and worship. You know, when you're in nature, um, that's, that's being close to the Lord because you're out in his creation, right? So I'm just, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty today. You know, you're like the best artist and just thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the ability to be out in the sun. Thank you for the ability to be able to run. Thank you for just grateful, 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 right? And and while I was running, I was listening to, listened to a bunch of different songs, but I was listening to a handful of songs I'd never heard before. Um, one of them was, um, he's always there. He's right there. He's right there. It doesn't matter if you're in your room. It doesn't matter if you're running the mountain. It doesn't matter if you're in your car. It doesn't matter if you're at work. It doesn't matter if you're in the highest high or the lowest low. He's right, he's right there. Like, he's right here with us right now. He's here. And I just love that. 
Anyway, I'm looking around. I'm appreciating hanging out with God. And then I start having these thoughts about atheism. And this is just a sneak peek into how my brain works, right? And I'm talking to God about it. And I'm looking around and I'm just like, I don't understand how people can believe there's not a creator or a God. I, I think for me, it'd be harder to be an atheist than it would be to know there's a creator. You know what I mean? And God gave us all free will. If you're watching me and you're an atheist, I'm not mad at you. I'm going to love you anyway. That's not up to me. That's between you and who you believe in and whoever you don't believe in. Um, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to be mad. That's, I don't, I'm not one of those judgy people that gets mad because somebody believes different than I do. That, that's, that ain't got nothing to do with me. What you believe has nothing to do with me. Um, but anyway, I was sitting there. I was running. I wasn't sitting. And I'm like, okay. So if somebody is an atheist. An atheist believes there's no God. Then if there's no God, then there's no creator. And if there's no creator then how did we get here? Um, and some people are like, well, it's the Big Bang Theory. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, who created the Big Bang? <laughs> I mean, who created the planets and the, and the stars and the bugs and, and the air we breathe? And um, I, I, I can't even get my words out. So if you don't believe in God, I am. Not you, just those who don't. If you believe that there's no God and that when we die, we just go into a void oblivion. Okay. Uh, that's hard for me too because if we die, and just go into blackness and we don't exist anymore, then what was the point in us being here in the first place? But why are we even here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if there's no creator, there's no God, how did we get here? When we die, if we go off into nothing, what was the point? What's the point in love? What's the point in hate? What's the point in anything? Anything. What? What? I can't even wrap my mind around that. I can't even... You know what I mean? It's hard for me to get my thoughts out. But I'm like... There has to be a God. Because where did love come from? There has to be a God. Because otherwise, there's no point in anything. And I think a lot of atheism, and I could be wrong. Listen, I'm not a preacher. I have my own relationship with the Lord. I've been bought with a price. I'm covered in the blood. Um, I'm saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. I accept him as my savior. You guys know this. Uh, I know nothing other than my own relationship with the Lord um, and what I read in the Bible and you know what I study uh, and I ain't mad at anybody for their own beliefs sorry um, I had a point when I, I was losing it I lost my point I don't know it'll come back I lost it. So, it's hard for me to wrap my head around 
Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, I think a lot of athe atheism comes from anger. I think it comes from grief, disappointment, a loss of faith. Now, some people are born, there's different reasons people don't believe in a God. Different reasons. But I think some people do believe in God, maybe even be born again. And then they experience some kind of tragedy. And then they can't get through the pain and the hurt and the grief. And so they disown God. And I think one of the biggest ways to disown God is just to act like he doesn't exist. Just turn your back on him and act like, you know what? He just doesn't even exist. And I think it comes from hurt and I think it comes from pain. From not being able to get past that kind of pain and grief. Do I understand that human thinking? Absolutely. I've experienced a lot of loss and tragedy as many people have there's things that have happened to me in my life that I have never ever shared with you guys and I never will I don't there's things I don't want to talk about because I don't want to it I don't I don't want to go there you know um, things I just can't I just can't and so, and I'm not anybody special. We've all gone through tragedy. We've all gone through loss and hurt and pain and unimaginable things. Unimaginable. <laughs> unimaginable things. And those things will either bring you to God or closer to God. Or you'll be so stuck in yourself and your ego and your own pain that you turn your back on him. I think a lot of atheism comes from that. But if there's no, if there's no God, then how does the sperm meet the egg and make a baby? How does the wind blow? How am I sitting here talking to you? If there's no God and we came from nothing and we go to nothing and we die to nothing and we're just a big bunch of nothing, then what's the point? What's the point in the love that we feel for each other? What's the point in the relationships that we have? What's the point in raising children and paying bills? And what's the point? So if we came from nothing and we go to nothing, there is no God. So where did it all come from? If you don't believe in God, where did it all come from? And... say there is a God or something and then we're here for our 80, 90, 100 years if we're lucky and then we die into nothing then what is what is God's point so you can't believe in God and then believe we die into nothing if you believe we die into nothing you believe we come from nothing so, if that's the case, and you're a mama or a daddy, then how do you explain the love you have for your children? Or how do you explain the relationship you have with your friends? Or how do you explain any amount of joy or peace that you have in your life? How do you explain any of that if you don't believe in anything? How do I explain that? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just talking. This is just, this is what goes through my mind. If for me, and like I said, I'm not mad if you, if you don't believe in, in God. That's, that's fine. Are my teeth purple? My mouth and my peas are purple. Sorry. It's the purple berries. Anyway, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not upset if that's what you believe. Like I said, I'm going to love you anyway, and the Lord loves you more. Even if you don't believe in him, he loves you more, and he is waiting on you. Knock, knock, knock. He's knocking. Anyway, to me, it would be impossible to be an atheist. It's harder for me to think that there is no God and we die off into nothing than it is knowing that we have a creator. I don't know. Does my faith waver every now and then? I always have faith, but every now and then, you know, I'm watching my sister going through one of the biggest battles in her life. And if you guys were friends with her on Facebook, um, you you know. Because she, she puts it out there sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Big, big court battles. And I'm not going to go into all that. But sometimes I'm like, God, enough already. White flag. I told Kimberly, I texted her a message the other day because we talk constantly. I'm like, I'm, I've been praying for strength for you and I've been praying, you know, for specific answers and I've been praying all these things for you. I said, but now I'm crying. It, might, it makes me want to cry now because my sister and I, we are like this and we carry each other. We carry each other's burdens and excitement and joy. You know, we're sisters. Especially since mom died. You know, we've got each other. And so, I told her the other day that I was walking my long hallway at work. And a lot of times when I walk that long hallway at work, I pray. And I told Kimberly that I was telling God for, I just plead the blood of Jesus over my sister and her boys. And... And SOS, mercy, mercy. Like, we just cry mercy. Kimberly's tired, and I'm tired, and it's heavy. It's so heavy, you know, and it's, it's so heavy. And I'm like, God, that's enough already. That's enough. And I'm like, make it stop. Just make it stop. Kimberly's tired. I'm tired. The kids are tired. Just make it stop. Just wrap this up. Put a bow on it. Set this. Let this ship sail. You know, and so in moments like that, my faith doesn't waver, but I can see how people will get mad at God. I can see how people are like, well, where is he? And why isn't he helping me? And why does he let bad things happen? And you know, horrible, awful things happen to children, and, you know, you watch Dateline in 2020, and people are cut up into pieces, and people are disappearing, horrible things are happening, and why would God let that happen? So, I understand that human thought process. Like, I get it. But that's not going to make me turn my back. Um... You know, people are martyred and killed every day, and we are blessed to be able to live in America and be able to sit out in the wide open and read our Bible if we want to. To go to any church we want to. My point is, I get that human thinking, but you either stand in your faith and know that God has every page written he already knows the end of your story. And you just got to hang in there. You just got to hang in there. All you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. That's all. And sometimes your faith is stronger and sometimes your faith is weaker. But I just feel like sometimes people just give up. They do. And that's our humanity. But I know that I am not sitting here breathing, talking, eating, moving. 
without my God giving me the ability to do that. My Jesus Christ giving me the ability to do that. This is really good. Anyway, those are my thoughts. <laughs> and Shane and I have talked about it before. We're like, how do you look outside and see the grass grow? Or the trees die off in the winter and new blooms come in the spring and not go. How does all that happen? Who makes that happen? Just, just an accident? Just, just an accident? That's crazy to me. Have you ever taken anatomy and physiology? I took physiology in high school and then in the little bit of college I had in LPN school I took anatomy and physiology. Favorite class. I love learning about the human body and how it works. The skeletal system, the muscular system, the endocrine system, what the blood looks like under a microscope and red blood cells and white blood cells and synovial fluid between the joints and it's how the brain works. Not everybody's fascinated by this. I am fascinated by this. To get down on a cellular level, to learn how the human body works, How are you going to see all that and be an atheist? How does all that happen? How does it happen? God. Because there is a God. That's how. He's real. I could sit and talk about it all day. You know. Deep thoughts with Amy Mesh. Anyway, this is really good. What I really wanted was a beef and cheddar and a potato cake from Arby's, but I ain't doing that. Um, so, there's all that. If you guys have any thoughts down below, and listen. I didn't do this video to stir up drama, okay? So, if I've offended anybody, well, first of all, I'm not going to apologize for anything that I just said. If I have offended anyone, you have to take that up with God or whoever you want to take it up with. But I am not sorry for anything I just said. Um, if I have offended you, um, and you feel the need to drop a hateful, awful comment, I guess go ahead. Um, but I didn't make this video to upset anybody, and I did not make this video to get into any kind of debate. Okay, because listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a debater. I'm not going to get in the ring and fight with you. I'm not going to, every once in a while, somebody will drop a comment and I'll... I'll reply but it'll be one little comment and that's the end of it 99% of the hateful awful comments I get um, they just get put over here or deleted you guys know that I, I absolutely will not engage with you I just won't I don't have the energy so my whole point is if you drop a horrible comment, and I'll, I'll decide if it gets posted or not, or deleted, because my channel, my choice, um, just know that um, I'm not going to, I'm not going there with you. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a debater. I'm just on here hanging out with you guys and letting you know what goes through my brain. That's all. Um. 
share my thoughts. I'm letting you know what me and the Lord talk about. So. Oh. I'm going to show you this and then we'll turn this off. We'll wrap it up. I got my Oklahoma shirt of the month for September. Well, I've had my glasses on this whole time. Hi, here I am. <laughs> I didn't realize I have my glasses on this whole time. I am a hot mess. And yes, my hat's backwards. I offended somebody by wearing my hat backwards. She said something too. She's like, I, I don't remember something 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 and she's like but that hat backwards is just look I don't get on here to impress anybody I just ran three miles and I'm sweaty and my hair's a mess and my hat's backwards if that offends you you can go take that up with whoever okay anyway look look at my shirt freaking adorable first of all I love the brown that's the back I love the brown look at this <laughs> prairie folk oh my god that's pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen because you know out in Oklahoma there's a lot of prairie that is so cute mm, I love it love it we'll have that yes please build up my t-shirt collection again. I have a lot of t-shirts, but there are a lot of them are don't fit no more. So I'm trying to get my new, new t-shirt collection. Anyway, share your thoughts, share your feelings. I did. Go ahead and share yours down below. I think that's all I got. Shane's at work. Riley just left. I saw her leave on the doorbell. Don't you guys love the ring doorbell? Do you have a ring doorbell? Freaking love it. I love the ring doorbell. I think everybody pretty much has a ring doorbell now. And if you don't, you should get one. I love them. Um, anyway, they're, they're gone. I need to go home and clean the kitchen, but I don't want to do chores today. I'll clean it at some point. That's really it. Um, Shane and I got invited to, well, his best buddy Kelly is hosting him. He's DJing um, a 1980s vinyl night. It's at a bar. I don't think I've ever been to that bar. I don't really go to bars. If Shane and I ever go to a bar, it's like a restaurant bar, like Chili's. <laughs> we used to, but we just don't. We're, we're kind of getting past our go out and hang out all night phase, you know? Now we're like, it's 10 o'clock, we gotta go to bed, even on a Friday. But anyway, um, Kelly's doing them. He's DJing. More than likely, Shane will get in there because Kelly's like, will you come come DJ with me? And I, I was like, are you going to go? Are you going to help him? He said, yeah, probably. But anyway, it's for a bunch of people that went to Hill High School. I went to Memorial High School. And although we're pretty much the same age, I, I won't know anybody. I know Kelly and Michelle. Michelle is Kelly's wife. Kelly's a dude. Kelly and his wife, Michelle. And maybe a couple of their adult children might be there. Um, and Shane and Kelly, other than that, I don't know anybody. But I told Shane, I said, I'm not trying to hang out all night long. Let's go hang out. You know. Listen to some vinyl and come home. So, anyway. I probably won't vlog any of that because... Um, get because all the music you know what I mean um that's what I did not what this video is about anyway so that should be fun 
I'll probably just drink Diet Dr. Pepper or water with lemon and stay for a few hours and come home. Anyway, I've been talking long enough. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. We will see you in the next video.